Hello everybody. Uh welcome back to the next video. As you can see, I've been messing around with this painting. I I, I can't get it to work. I've I've been like trying all sorts of things. But like see, cause even like, if I place a block here I can place the painting down and if I break it like quickly, but like you can't place you just can't place the the what you wanna call it, the sign here so I don't know like, you can place one there but you can't actually place one in the back here or something maybe hmm okay wait I just had an idea that may work so if I put a block right here all right I know this is although that that's gonna break though the second but yeah I almost need like Block here. Yeah. Anyways, I, I cannot figure out how to do this. So yeah, for now we're just gonna leave it at what we have it with the signs and the pressure plates. As uh, also, I've been looking into the fish in the main area. I do believe they are custom fish, and I do not know how to get them. I I've looked at commands. I looked at websites. I have no clue. So. For now, it, it will remain empty, I guess. Alright, so we're going to be doing whatever you want to call this, I guess. So we're going to need some brown concrete, some oak planks. So we have dark oak door, a torch, and dark oak stair. So this will kind of kick us off. So we have four here, which I believe should be right. Uh, we want to have one up here, and then these two should actually be oak planks. So, I must have missed that in my last video. Correct? Or... Yeah, those are oak planks, so I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. So, I guess we can just continue these back. These are a total of four blocks, and then this one comes back. Uh, I think we can just bring this back all the way, actually. So these come back four, and then this one's three. And the roof up here can just go like this all the way down. Uh, we need an upside-down stair right here with a dark oak door. And we need the handle to be on the other side. So we actually want to... What you can do is you can get rid of this block and then place it in. So now the handle's on the right side, just like that. And then we need a torch right here. So, alright, coming in here... Let's see what we need. So. Oh boy. Alright, I guess. Wow, alright. This entire floor is just going to take an episode probably alone. Alright, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're going to need some spruce, spruce logs. I guess we'll grab... We need purple and magenta terracotta. And we need quartz stairs. Uh, quartz stairs. Just regular quartz stairs. Uh, birch planks with some sea lanterns and iron trap doors. So this will help do the basic uh, framing of this building. So... I guess if we start right here, we're going to start with the floor, get that out of the way. So if we start right here, we want to place one coming out. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to grab some diamond blocks. And what we can do is we just go, so we want to just go like around the room, just like this. And I'm just going to go around all the way. Just so we have something to place these on, because some of them are sideways. As well as I'm going to fill in these gaps. And obviously, if you can actually see any of those, I'll change them to what they need to be. So, alright, so here we want a sideways one. Here we want one that comes out. Uh, here we want a sideways one. Then, oh wait, no. Wait up, I think I just discovered something. This may not be as difficult as I thought it had to be. Let me just check when opening. Oh wait, this door is actually wrong. So, 
what we want for the door is we want it to be we want to I think if we place it like that, that's right. So you want it to be like in the next block. So on the spruce if we come up here and place one like that. Okay, this floor pattern is actually not as difficult as I thought. So if we start with straight one coming out of this door like that, uh, we can also punch out this one. And basically, we just want to do an alternating pattern of straight and sideways, and we're just going to go all the way across. I thought this was like a whole complex pattern, and it would take forever to do, but it's not. Yeah, and we're just going to fill this in all the way across. Okay, yeah. Woo, alright, that's a stress reliever. I thought this was going to take way longer. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I didn't realize this was an alternating pattern, but a good thing I did. Now I can just go and fill in all these straight across. And then we're almost there. Alright, so once you're done that, if you're not done quite yet, uh, just pause the video, I guess. Um, we are going to bring a layer of purple terracotta that goes all the way around. So you want to start here and go across like this, and then put one right here. And bring this back in all the way into this corner. Let me just confirm that that should be... Uh, yep, looks good. And you'll be bringing this all the way across. Yep, right in front of here. And then all the way down like this. Oh! Correction, sorry. I forgot to show this off. I made a mistake in the last video. So the last video, I had uh, these banners going all the way down onto this moonstone. You don't want that. You want them to be only on the glass. And then you want to fill this smooth sandstone layer in with uh, water. I just remembered that, uh, yeah, I made that little error, but it's okay now, so, alright, so we have all this going around, now we can bring up four layers of our magenta terracotta, and just leave the window, obviously, so, one, two, three, and then just come across the top, yeah, I don't know what this video title is even gonna be, because I'm not really sure what room this is. It looks like, like a lounge or something. Maybe that's what I'll call it. Maybe I'll just call it the lounge. I don't know. If anyone can tell me the actual name of this thing, please uh, drop it down in the comments. We'll make sure to look at that. So I believe we can do the same thing on this side. So if we want to come out here, I mean, just place the door just like that. Uh, from the inside, we want the handle on the left. Yep, so that's all right. All right, and then the ceiling. So the ceiling, we want to have, if we come up one, we want to have our court stairs upside down. Similar design in the library, which is why I'm not messing this up. And later up on this, we're going to have some uh, birch planks. And yeah, this is a clubhouse floor. So, next video we're going to do the room across from this. I'm not really sure what that is, to be completely honest with you. But, uh, we're going to do it, I guess. So, Alright, if we're looking at this out the door, we want to come to the third stair in. And then we want to leave a birch and punch it out. And you can do this on the back too, so leave a birch punch it out. And we can fill in some sea lanterns. And we want to put uh, iron trapdoors. 
Just like that. So let's do, I guess let's do this hallway. So you just bring it across our floor. I'm just gonna grab some materials from our other hallway. Uh, wow, I came all the way over there for a torch and a stair. Alright, because I'm assuming these are pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, so these come all the way across. All the way across, these come all the way across. And these three. These ones upside down stair there. And then the only difference is on this one. That first oak, there's a torch. And this roof is correct. So, yeah. Alright, so we have this all laid out. So I guess we'll start with the wall with the doors and then work our way around. So here we just need some bookshelves. Uh, bookshelves. Let's grab some spruce trap doors. I oh, need brick and brick stairs. We're gonna need some iron bars. A uh, campfire. Or even are those? I know I'm like on top of them. Am I? Yeah, they're right here. And then we need some spruce fences and paintings. So, alright, so in the reference world, I only have one spruce fence in place. No, I'm assuming they need to go on both sides, and I accidentally broke one at some point. But that will be checked. So, okay, so if we leave two blocks in, we're going to place uh, two bookshelves. You know, put trapdoors on all of these, covering these sides like that. And we're going to put uh, two and two. Oh, wait, I didn't come all the way over here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Uh, I don't even know what I got rid of, if anything. Alright, so we have... What am I doing? No, these need to be... Whoa. These need to be bookshelves right here. There we go. And then, yeah, so there is a spruce fence in front of this one. And for the time being, I'm going to put one here just because I think there is one. But I'm not completely positive. So we're going to put two brick blocks here. Two stairs up just like that. Um... Then we need some, wait, what is that? It looks like, it's like, that's actually really hard to say. I think it's light, it looks like light gray terracotta on the wall. So, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to put in light gray. I will check that too. Oh, we can put two campfires right here. And let me just want four iron bars, just like that. And yeah, so I'll check on the fence and on the contents back there. So we're going to put a stair going up here and a stair going up here. And then we just punch out these two actually and then just put bricks going all the way up. Don't know how smoke got there. Alright, so, uh, paintings. So if we leave... I come like diagonal the stair, and that's where a painting should be. So it's like in this area. I mean, I want it to be the skull. That one. So yeah, basically just leave a block from these two. So I'm just placing these temporary blocks so I can shave it. And then this one, you want the spider. All right, come on, spider. There we go. Alright, so I believe that's that wall done. Uh, so if we turn to the right from there, from looking at that wall. I'm gonna get, ooh, new blocks. I'm gonna get spruce planks. Uh, birch buttons. Yes. And then I think it's under chemistry equipment, maybe. What is that? Let me, let me grab all of these real quick, and then let me just place these down.
Alright, so we want this one. We want the element constructor. That's what we want. We need some stone stairs, some black concrete. Oh, we're gonna need levers and site walls. And no blocks. Anything else? Uh, yes, but we can't fit it. So if we come one block in on this top layer, we can put uh, no blocks and site walls and levers facing up. I don't know why my game's so laggy. And now if we leave a block from this, we can put four concrete, black concrete, and then levers on the middle two that should be out. We can double that up. And then we want to put our uh, stairs there and there, so it's like a little stand. Uh, Alright, so here, we're going to punch out some of our wall. And we need to place, like, backwards uh, of our element constructor, so it looks like a little box there. And then we can put us spruce planks with birch buttons on them. And then let's just pull these back in. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to need some composters. Uh, spruce fences, uh, spruce leaves, and I guess some just like seeds. Uh, if you guys have been following along with the tutorial, you should know what we're about to build. Yeah, all right, composter right here. Uh, spruce fence with the spruce leaf on top. Why am I lagging so much? Is the game updating? I check. But it didn't look like. Alright, and then we just went to leave those white spots in there. Alright, so that's that wall done. So now facing the window wall. We need uh, oak planks, oak stairs, and oak slabs. Um, we need some. I believe that's cyan. Cyan wool and some white banners. Um, yeah. So. Alright, so we're also going to need some light blue banners. Yeah, so on either side of this window, we want to place one right here and then one in the middle. Uh, we do not want one on the bottom, though. And Alright, so in the center of this, we want to place four cyan. Then we can place uh, four slabs in front and four slabs on top. We can place uh, stairs going out. Then we need blocks and blocks just like that now we're gonna have to break out these two and do a bit of redstone i think maybe so we can punch out that one and then punch out that one and we can place like diagonal white banners in and then yeah so if we place a slab and a slab just like that i guess let's grab you want a piston the redstone block so we need to place an upside upside down piston Oy. um well, where do we... I guess we can try and put one there. And then we can place... Whoa. So we just want to place an upside down one. Hmm. If I could place an upside down one. If I wasn't lagging so much. Oh, too far. Yeah, just a bit too far. Um, so we're gonna have to punch out that one. Uh, hmm. I guess. How are we gonna do this then? Oh, wow. You can just play slabs and. I thought you need some fancy redstone stuff or. I don't know. But, alright, so just place banners in and then just place your slabs just like that. I, I just assumed that would be more complex, I guess. So, alright, we're gonna need some oak and some dark oak trap doors. Gonna need a bell and birch fences. And then we're gonna need. Ooh, what is that? Is that. Looks like. I'm gonna grab gray and black and see which one looks better. And then we need an item frame with a clock. So, alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to place a bell. Uh, you need to face sideways, though. We're going to put a oak trap door in, and then we need a 
I believe it's three dark oak, one on top, and then three on the side again. You put a birch fence right in the center, and then, alright, so let's just see. Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's black stained glass panes, and then an item frame on the front with a clock. So yeah, black stained glass. I'm pretty sure I said glass panes, it's not glass panes. Um, alright, so now we're going to need our materials for, from the couch over here, just no banners, and then also, we're going to need paintings, and that's going to be the end of the video. In the next video, like I said, I will, uh, check this fence, as well as those two blocks back there. So, okay, so what we want to do is, if we, let's grab some magenta terracotta, so we want to skip two here, then we can place two. And then just make like a two by two block. Same thing over here. So just get two. And these are going to be more painting. So this left one is going to be the wither. And then this right one's going to be like what I see as a karate person. Like it looks like someone karate chopping. I don't know. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it's actually like an angel or something. I I I, I can't really see it. But all right. So we're gonna in the center. Let's place two side wall with two slabs and then two slabs in front. Place our sideways stairs and then our oak planks. And that should be good. Let me just check for light blocks. Oh boy, a lot of light blocks. Nope. Okay. So we're gonna do slash give at s. And then we're gonna do if I could type light block one and then fifteen. There we go. Alright, so facing this way, we're going to place one right here, and then, okay, and then one right there, right in front of that painting. So we need one right next to this one, and if we come diagonal here, we want five. So if we when I come diagonal that one. And then we can come diagonal up one like that, and if we come diagonal, we can skip one and put five. And this final wall, we just want one right above there. So that's all of our light blocks. And that should conclude this tutorial. So in the next room, next room, next video, we will build whatever is in this one. I'm assuming it's just one build. And then we can get into the clubhouse. And then after clubhouse, I believe we are going to do the lake. I know, I know it may not seem fun, but it will add a lot of detail to our world. And then, yeah, we can do the path going like around, kind of. And then, yeah, so basically we'll do the room directly across from what we did today, clubhouse, and then lake. There's a, that's the plan for the next few builds. So I will uh, see you guys in the next video where I will verify the blocks.